I okay, drink. guys, ready? Finish last drink. Three, yeah. two, Wait. hang on, <laughs> hang on. Okay. <clears throat> Hello, everybody. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hi. Nice Hi. to meet you. <laughs> this camera being offset is really doing my head. <laughs> like, no, <laughs> you've never okay. seen this before. This is like a, a new perspective. On you can see the always. side of Ben that you've never seen. <laughs> the, the, the dark side, side of you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we are recording this for The Campaigner magazine, which is a fantastic publication by Matthew Lee, which you can uh, find in the links below the video. He has uh, wanted to interview us to publish our answers who knows why but he does and uh, so we actually thought we'd deliver the answers to him in video format and give you all opportunity to see the actual uh, live live <laughs> improvisation performance uh, you know as you are aware all of our games are highly scripted and we rehearse for maybe two or three, <laughs> two or three weeks before each presentation yeah. so many takes mm. too look I mean That's really right. the reason that we're providing this in video format is because none of us can type that's right yeah. <laughs> so, or, or read or write or anything that's right. we don't know any words yeah, so that's so, the problem so yeah so that, that's why so we thought you guys would enjoy actually seeing the answers yourself in this format in case you can't read yourselves <laughs> And uh, but yeah, definitely, <laughs> definitely go and support. read the article. That's right. It's in the description. Read the article in the description. You'll love it. It's a great website with lots of really fantastic stuff. Cool. Excellent. So first, we shall start off with introductions. Uh, who we are and a very brief thing about our lives, or something you might not know about your life, or something yeah. you like. Um, my name's Nathan. Um, I work in digital strategy and social media. Um, I've worked with companies like Two K, Twitch, and I'm. Currently working in the politics in politics to um, for the Australian federal election. Mm -hmm. right. My name's Derek. I'm a video games producer. I've worked with EA and THQ and people like that. And What's your biggest I've... game that everyone would know? Uh, probably Harry Potter. Yeah. I worked on worked on the Harry, Harry Potter, Potter series. And I've yeah. played that. Yeah, yeah I know. Same here. I like. <laughs> it was a great it, game. It wasn't burnt. <laughs> it wasn't. Uh, can we stop the video? <laughs> Don't worry, it wasn't my Xbox. It was someone else. <laughs> yeah, I definitely wouldn't pay money for it. That's right. That's right. That Don't definitely worry. sounds something like I shouldn't be paying for. <laughs> so, Going from one moral yeah. level to another. Um, I'm Johnny, uh, and I am a pastor in a church. Um, when I'm not doing this, mm. and yeah, I don't know what else do I say. He's amazing. You're it's amazing. Yeah. If you want to hear an interesting talk that's like actually realistic and entertaining and funny, and you're a musician, he's your guy. Yeah, I, I do dabble in a bit of music as and well. And poetry, you do do poetry. Yes, poetry, yes. <laughs> philosophy, poems. Yes, I'm not going to put you on the spot. No, it's please right. don't. If you have deep philosophical yeah. questions, Johnny's the man to go to. He's, he's yes. yeah. I'm a pretty vain guy, but Johnny's someone who I genuinely uh, respect as being quite a lot brighter than me, <laughs> which is really saying something. <laughs> due to my level of vanity, wow. and due to my intelligence. <laughs> no, it's just not getting any better. We're never going to get past the names, are we? <laughs> wow. All right. Who are you? Uh, I'm John. <laughs> Um, and I, I, I don't know, I'm, I've done drama and acting stuff for a while, just basically teach drama and film stuff at the moment. Mm. Yeah. And your name's spelt different. My name's spelt with a J-O-N, and Johnny's is spelt differently as mm. well. You're yes. like, with a J-O-H, yeah. Yeah. Mm. craziness. Weird. That's how we tell each other apart. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The, the, H. the H is silent. That's very important. <laughs> yeah. I'm Ben. I studied composition at university, so I'm a, I'm a composer and a pianist and a singer and a cellist. Uh, but more recently, I have the creative director of a company you may have heard mentioned on Dice Storm's channel called Sirenscape. Uh, Sirenscape. Yeah, I build all the sounds oh. and, and came up with the original concept and all that sort of stuff. So, um, yeah, yeah, that's what I do. Can, can somebody talk about Murray? Well, yes. Oh, yes. Uh, yes. Murray's, Murray's not Can with you us. Be Murray? Can you be okay. Murray? Murray's not with us. Just stop. <laughs> just stop is, that, is that your Murray? <laughs> no. <laughs> <Not done. laughs> I, don't know, I, don't I don't even know what that is. I hadn't thought this through. You're finished to drop your voice. Can I do my South African accent? <laughs> um, it's got to then merge with the even though he's from Indian New Zealand, accent. New Zealand? Say. Murray's fantastic. Uh, um, yeah, he'll love that. Murray is an ancient historian, yeah. which is just amazing. Yep. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about how Murray and I know each other later. 
Um, but yeah, he's an ancient historian. He's a he's a, a fantastic bass singer. He's written books. He's and written books. He's on the Ancient History podcast. Yes, mm. um, History dot net podcast. Mm. He do- talks about all Roman mm. stuff. And, and he's been about. in a television show. Yes, yes. <laughs> called um, the videos on our. Um, yeah. yeah, you can find it <laughs> on, on, on our YouTube. web. Yeah, yeah. yeah. on our web. On our um, YouTube. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, fantastic. Great. There's some intros. Do I? Uh, I do ask more questions in the comments below and we'll endeavour to answer them. Yeah, that'd be good, actually. Hmm. But probably not just yet, because let us get a few questions out. Yeah. yeah. So just like, wait till the we end so we don't have to double. We may answer questions ah, whilst ah, we're yeah. talking. And then at the bottom... <laughs> yeah. You'll find, you'll, you'll find us repeating. Oh, you're look, asking. someone's commented that Nathan's accents are not <laughs> All right. <laughs> Should we deal with that? Uh, <laughs> wow. Right, here's question number one from, from Matthew. Who's, it's, and these are really great questions, so I'm going to read them out. Because that'd be weird if I didn't <laughs> answer question number one. Um, um, wow. Do you see see what happens when we don't have rules? Because <laughs> yeah. yeah. we, as I said, it's normally highly scripted. This is yeah. dangerous stuff. We're flying by the seat of our pants. <laughs> How did you end up as a group, and what brought you all together? Let's we'll start from the question. beginning. Yes. Yeah. So Johnny and I were no. the. Oh God. John. Oh man. <laughs> John and I. I have the H. That's right. Oh, I know. Yeah. I know. John. <laughs> John and I were the, the two remaining members from uh, 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 the first big gaming group that was mine, um, which was playing 3.5 Dungeons and Dragons, and we played through the Red Hand of Doom, which was fantastic. And people just sort of drifted off and went our separate ways until the, the gaming group was just John and John and me. And we're like, oh, well, this is kind of fun, but we want some friends. I was working at the time with Murray on a opera project uh, called What Opera, which we both worked on for ages and ages. Because you're an opera singer. I'm an opera singer, that's right. He was the director, I was a musical director, we used to write operas with young people, and I'm thinking, this guy is pretty darn creative, wow, he'd be a fantastic role player, but it's kind of an embarrassment if I kind of say, do you want to play with me? He's like, no! I said, no! (laughs) Or if he comes and plays and he's really... Like bad or something, or really abrasive, or which he was. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but I did eventually get up the guts to ask a workmate to come and join us in playing some games, which is kind of a bit of a risk, I guess. But that mm. turned out fantastically mm. well. Yeah, then he awkwardly showed you his garage, which is right. full of like every single. Yeah. <laughs> Turns out that he was really into RPGs. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, yeah. We were. You never played. You like, know. like that awkward first date. Yeah. You're both yeah. waiting for the other person yeah, to speak. Say, by the way, I like <laughs> <laughs> um, so that was that turned out really, really well. So there were three of us, which is still not quite enough to play a, a tabletop role playing game. Uh, we converted to Pathfinder at some point there. Converted to Pathfinder. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. It was hard getting the tattoo removed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, you got yeah. to do that. Bit. We had to get, had to get new jackets. New jackets. <laughs> <laughs> we tried to turn D and D into Pathfinder. It was a pun in the air. Yeah. yeah. But it didn't really work. Yeah. So then it was laser that off and have another go on the other breast. Yeah. Right. So then... True story. Jo- we were kind of like, who should we get? And, and John had said, oh, well, there's this guy, Nathan. I'm like, oh, Nathan, yeah, mm. yeah. Mm. Um, and we had actually had a conversation where yeah. Nathan had said he owns all the books and has never got to play. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, I yeah. Ca- there was a D&D store at the end of my street yeah. and I used to go along and buy all the D&D miniatures because <laughs> I used to sell them singles. Yeah. So I'd like go and buy like an orc and a goblin yeah. and I'd buy the books yeah, and then I yeah. and I had like a whole box full which I probably still have out there. But yeah, so then... Um, so then I was like, oh yeah, yeah, I sort of remember Nathan. And, and then we met you and... So I went to JB Hi-Fi, which is an electronics store in Australia. Where... I was working at he the time in the TV sales, section. Amazing yeah. salesman. I can mm. sell you anything. Yeah. And uh, I was like, oh, totally, you should totally play with Overpriced. But yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. i got to get commission. You'd, yeah. sell, you'd sell your own mother to you. That's right. Um, and so, yeah, so we invited Nathan along and it was an absolute hoot. And that was one week after Murray had started. So Murray oh, was really? the first oh, week. Really? Yeah, Murray had been there one week wow. and I wasn't there. And then I came to the next game and Murray wasn't there. Oh. So then we, you started the first adventure and that's where me and Murray both created our... Um, our first two characters, yeah. mm. and you had and he played Gru. Murray played Derek, Gru. No, he played. Oh yeah, but in oh, the, yeah. when he started with me, when he started mm. with us officially, mm. he started his um his first the wizard character, mm. and then you were what's his face? Dirk. Uh, Dirk. 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 Yeah. Dirk. God rest in peace. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> and you and I and you me. were um you were your um Tobias. <laughs> Tobias, uh, and then we yes, created the these characters. Intolerant and this is, cleric, yeah. and the thing is, they started to go into the world of um, what is under the gods because they're part of, they're yeah, actually part of that right. world. So that yeah. was the first time yeah. the yeah. under the world yeah. game was played. Right. 
That was cool. That's right. Which is one of our Pathfinder games that have lasted like basically the, the length That's of... That's right. And so then, then we were three players and a, and a GM. Four, right. Which is three. quite enough. Yeah. Yeah. And then... And then you guys, you can tell us. Yeah, so, so what I, I was thinking about, we were, we were talking about having it, getting another player on board, and I'm like, I've got this guy who mm. I think would be really cool. And Johnny, John knew him because he, he and I did they acting. used to act together. Mm. So I was at a New Year's Eve party, and you know, as all good nerds do, <laughs> we sat down and started talking about nerdy stuff. And we, um, we, we actually started talking about, I'm like, you have to come to a game. And I was like, mm. I told him everything, and he sounded really excited, and I think... You know, is he excited or drunk? Um, <laughs> drunk. Excited. Excited. <laughs> Sorry, Pastor. It was one or the other. Uh, that, was, that was good. Yeah, that yeah, was right yeah, on the yeah. script. You yeah. yeah. right. yeah. yeah. cool. yeah. We've rehearsed it so many times. We kept getting that wrong. <laughs> take after take. Yeah. I'm sure you could see all the cuts in right. single shot. So, yeah, then we, we had a we had a conversation, and I didn't know if you'd, we'd follow up, but then you followed up with me, and yeah, then really? we got you to a game. And what was the first game? It was, was it Maelstrom? <laughs> no. no. Oh, I was like, it was well before Maelstrom. I think it was... I think Star it, was Wars. Star Wars. it was our second game of Star yeah, Wars. It was D6. Star Wars D six that never made it online. No, it? no, no. It was before filming. It was oh, the, no, no. I think it Harry, was. No, you were you were on film. Then? You were on film, yeah. But the yeah. camera didn't work. Yeah, so you were on oh, the second right. game we were going to film, and the camera didn't work, and we were in the middle of we were like, was it? We had this whole twist ending thing. Yeah, yeah and like where the. The, the character you guys were kidnapped were, were rescuing a kidnapped child yeah and it turns out that Johnny's character had kidnapped the child oh, um, but he wasn't right. kidnapping her he was actually rescuing that's the right. child yeah, yeah. but we never right. saw that shot because the yeah the camera, the camera, camera didn't work <laughs> yeah we're so still novices on it's been whole. many we're still now there are yeah. so many still there. <laughs> can't believe there's we lost day. lost yeah. um, lost Dragon's Demand second session oh. like oh. yeah so yeah so so I'd never played a tabletop role-playing game in my life hmm. when, and never, at that point point. And, and your first one was on my first one was on the camera, camera but oh, then wow. the footage right. was lost and i think it's you me you me and murray we, we just we're absolute had no i had never played before so mm. all three of us mm. come in and just that's crazy so right. everything right. we've learned we've learned from these two so yeah it's their fault. <laughs> <laughs> so then derek is completely then, different yes I, I came into the the, the fray a little bit of a different way. I was uh, organising a panel mm-hmm. down at the very first PAX outside of America, PAX in Australia, um, down in Melbourne. And I was trying to assemble a people a group of people who had worked on digital products to enhance role-playing at mm. the table. Mm. And I'd, I'd worked on a game, on an app called Dungeon Map. And through the grapevine, I, mm. I heard about Sirenscape. Mm. And they suggested I invite Ben on my panel, which mm. I did. Mm. And we had a great time yeah. and we kind of got, got to know each other. Yeah. And then a good job. Um, we decided to do uh, an, another PAX panel the year after. Yeah. And you invited me. We had a, we had a, a YouTube, uh, sorry, a Skype meeting. That's right. And the Skype meeting was set up because well, I thought he was in Melbourne and he thought I was in Melbourne. So we decided to meet over Skype. And it turns out we were about uh, two kilometres away from each other <laughs> whilst we were having this Skype conversation. And, Did you figure uh, out during that conversation or after? It was after. Yeah. It was like we'd, we'd finished the conversation. And then, wow. anyway, so... Um, you, was it the first live RPG Plus then? That's yeah. Just, so yeah, so right. then, then, then we had the, the panel down in Melbourne yeah. on the second PAX, which was live RPG. So class. that was the first time we played with. No, no, you came and had a rehearsal. I had a, the, at the, the house. The PAX rehearsal, rehearsal, rehearsal. You'll. It's it's the first yeah. one. It's on. There's a link in that below. Yeah. There's a link for that. Yeah. <laughs> so many you links. Should be writing these down. <laughs> <laughs> so then we did that, and you still weren't a member of the group or whatever. No, and no. We were kind of having for a while the issues where. Mm. With four players, right, and a GM, if you kind of have two people away, you kind of lose functionality in 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 Dungeons Dragons Pathfinder. It's kind of if we just had, you know, just a, if we just expand a little bit more, then we could actually always pretty much get a game on no matter what, which yeah. has certainly been true. And so if true. everybody's here, we can still yeah, play. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Because you don't want it too big. So yeah, we we played with you once, and we're like, oh, you know. So we just got you along from you'll do game, that kind right? of thing. Yeah. <laughs> and it was hilarious. I mean, there was, a, there was this phone call. The then when I rang you up and said, you know. Hi, Derek. Uh, you know, would you like to become an official? He was like, "Oh wow, that'd be really cool." Like, so I, I remember funny. that so vividly because I was at work. I and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> "The dice stormers have called the dice." <laughs> <laughs> and I remember that that 
I didn't. I didn't go to that yeah. PAX. Nor yeah. did I play at the rehearsal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Nor did I play at the first game after when know. you were officially a dice stormer. Yeah. And there were a couple of games then after that that you couldn't I play couldn't that play. I played. Yeah. Yeah. And oh, so we right. we didn't meet yeah. for like months <laughs> after you met the rest of them and joined the dice stormers. And there was some suspicion that then we were the same person. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> the hair, isn't it? Yeah. And you had a beard, didn't you? I did. I did. Oh, that's right. This is great stuff. It's like it, there's like so much more sorry, Matthew, than you can possibly type out in a lifetime. Yeah. But that's that's uh, your fault for asking us. Next question. <laughs> that was question one. That's then. right. Yeah, oh, summarize. Right. That's going to be, they met that? together and started a group. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. That's great. So um, just, well, no, not necessarily quickly. We can go on if we like. How long have we each have of you... An hour and 40 minutes. Yeah. ...been playing tabletop games, um, and particularly in particular role-playing games? So we've sort of covered this a bit, so just mm. to reiterate, you'd bought all the books? I bought all the books. I really, really wanted to play it, and... Of D&D. Of, D- of D&D. Yeah. Fourth Ed. Fourth Ed. And I knew nothing about any of the games, and then I came along and played Pathfinder, which I literally just fell in love with straight away. Mm. And then I played like Paranoia, mm. and I was just like sold. Like yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. that was that. And then we played our first um, Call of Cthulhu, and I was like, "That was yeah. it. locked yeah. in." Mm. Mm. Great. So yeah, I've been gaming for about thirty years. Um, you know, D and D, Call of Cthulhu, Paranoia, mm. all sorts of different. You know, Tune, everything. Mm. We, we we tried, uh, dabbled in everything. We and played you had a group in Melbourne, presumably. Where <laughs> Melbourne, yes, where I grew up. <laughs> no, it was yeah, a group in a group in Sydney, and, um, and they've all kind of moved to different countries. But I still play with two of them. So, yeah. Yeah. I well, I yeah. already answered that question. Yeah. At a party, you met this kind of Adam, British guy. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah, he awkwardly brought you into the show. So, <laughs> yeah. Do you want to play a game? <laughs> um, yeah, Nathan basically said to me, "It's kind of like improvising, yeah, like yeah. theatre improv mixed with like." computer games mm. with your friends and I was like yeah. oh, I'll give that a try that that is all I knew about yeah, yeah, yeah. tabletop RPG I'd mm. missed and then that's right the first the whole thing like, kind of oh what do I roll yeah. what are yeah. these things that I yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, these numbers. I had a I had a friend who played Warhammer 40k when we were kids mm. and he tried to get me into it and I just was not interested mm. that's as close as I'd ever got to tabletop mm. RPG so crazy child. and you just you just like literally came in and just rolled with all the punches and right. just it took went. me a couple of games but you were yeah <laughs> we started with D6 dice so that yeah. was a little yeah, yeah I'd, I'd use start. them in Monopoly so I knew what I was yeah. <laughs> yeah I knew to read getting them to roll <laughs> off your hand <laughs> those dots on them I knew what yeah just, and you had to count the dots you just kept putting them down on the table as well so embarrassing to have to Push them. Yep. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Um, similar to Derek, so I've been uh, role playing since for about thirty years, and um, started out in D and D basic, the Red Box, mm. and Star Wars. The, actually, we still play it, which is pretty cool. Yeah, Star that's... Wars D six, <laughs> um, and then moving into things like lots of different things from Palladium through to um, all the World of Darkness, old World of Darkness stuff. Um, pretty much most things I've played at one stage or another. We haven't mm. played through all the books we own yet, so like we've got no, so much yeah, content. Right. Mm. We've, we've nearly played through all of Mario's books, I think. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> of one shelf in one little tiny corner. Yeah, yeah. one little yeah. corner of his garage. I uh, yeah received the red box maybe at age 11 or 10 while away on holidays camping at Smith's Lake and had to get the dice and rub the crayon into the, into the dice and then wipe off the excess and the numbers appeared. That's fantastic. I played till I was about Perfectly fi- weighted 15. Dice. <laughs> I became a Christian when I was 15 and made a decision to stop role-playing because it was something that was quite big in my life and it was obviously at that period, if you, if you do yeah. a little bit of research, there's always a lot of talk about whether it was a, a good thing to do or not. <laughs> <laughs> fantastic movies were made of it. Mazes and Monsters. With what's his name? Tom. I, I, yeah, I didn't role-play then for like a decade and then I yeah did a really, really big investigation as a Christian about whether it was a good thing, a bad thing, whether it was positive and decided mm. it was an amazing thing to try again and I got together mm. a bunch of friends and we started role-playing again and it's just a most amazing hobby <laughs> that uh, brings people together to be incredibly creative. Now you've met some of the people who made the books that you like literally. Yeah. Knew. <laughs> oh, the day I, well, I talked about Red Hand of Doom, yeah, I was lining up for an interview, and the guy we were being interviewed together was James Jacobs. Is like, oh my gosh, like, ah, oh, stop my red. This is so great. You wrote Red Hand of Doom, my favorite module, and he's just this cool guy. And yeah, and I spent a week over at Paizo in Seattle just just you know a month ago, which was just really totally awesome. 
Yeah, it's really fantastic. It's been genuinely weird, actually, yeah, to suddenly be a part of the gaming, gaming industry. Coolie doolies. Uh... Cut it. <laughs> we can't have that in the video. That's <laughs> out of character, Ben. You're meant to be cool and slick. Uh, it's like Ned Flanders over here. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> 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 what inspired us to record our gaming sessions and it was the intention always to upload them to YouTube cool we're also photogenic right. yeah. so yeah. I was I think I get the blame for this one yeah because I was watching um, Acquisitions Incorporated yes. And I was doing a lot of like, I was watching a lot of their videos and all that kind of stuff. And I was like, this is amazing. This is really cool content. And we need to get out of it, uh, ahead of this mm. because I was like, it's, it, we have, I, I kept raving about how cool the stories were that we were creating. Mm -hmm. And I was like, if we just record it and put it up, we, it, it, it'll be heaps of fun. Mm -hmm. um, and so we got the two cams. You, we all had different cams <sighs> at the time. Yeah. So they all had different kind mm. of lenses and uh, all fiddly bits and so frame rates yeah different <laughs> frame rates mm. that's the fun one and white balancing so you flick from one shot to go yellow 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 white white white, white. <laughs> yellow yellow it's like, ah. yeah was it and you had your favourite filter that you always used to like yeah, to put on yeah. the, the cloudy Panasonic day, cloudy day yeah to get a bit of extra and we had the 180 shots. rule too didn't we yeah oh, we're yeah. verging into another question yeah. oh, so let's, okay. let's talk about that when we get there yeah, yes but, so we I decided yeah let's get it put it up on video and if it doesn't work whatever and we ended up getting like I remember the first time we got like another person liking and commenting on our video. Mm. We were just all like, mm. we have 10 people who are subscribed to us, guys. We've made it! <laughs> <laughs> we were. I remember our conversations. Yeah. We were just so ecstatic at the numbers mm. because we were just, we did it for us, essentially. Yeah, yeah, yeah. just have so, a record of what we did. Yeah, doing. so like, you know, we could always go back and watch our stuff and just laugh at all the jokes we made. Mm. And we still do that. We still sit around and watch some of our own videos and just. Mm crack up laughing because we're we are idiots in ourselves well, we, we did pax oz together yeah, yeah the, the second year when we came down and we well, late one night after a long day oh. we sat down and watched the first edition game where yeah I, I tried a game master like i'm a young teenager and and so we'll link to that that's very funny but we were in pain on the floor we, like just rolling in stitches at our own silliness which yeah because uh, i have a hat um, you did, no, you you had, you had, you I had a hat with horns. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> that was amazing. Anyway, can, so that's that's I, why we did it. Can yeah. I also say that um, that what's been really good about it, like as as much as it's been fun too, it's a really good uh, technique for learning yeah. how to play. Yeah. So and GM. You, yeah, how to GM. So you go back over your over mm. what you've done, and you go, oh, I'm not sure if I did that right, or oh, I think I did a really bad job of that, and then you watch it back, and you go, oh, actually, did, actually went really well. Mm. Or, yeah. And so moments like that have been really mm. crucial to us growing as, as players and GMs. Can I say one more thing? Mm, the other thing that it. helps about having a camera, much the same as having a live audience, yeah. is that you don't have side conversations and yeah. you try messiness. To, you stay either. focused on the on the game. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah, it keeps us in the game and I think Cut the fat makes cut. the game more fun. Mm. And it forces the just run with it, just add a bonus, whatever, say yes. All those philosophies which we talked about on our other videos, yeah. you really have to do on camera. Uh, which is lots of fun. Yep. Uh, so, so, and how are some other ways that um, recording, the fact that we're recording, have impacted on our games? And are there any oh, particular pros whoa. or cons? Yes. My wow. favorite thing so is. The questions. <laughs> my favorite thing is I always go and uh, when I'm playing a character again, I always go back and watch the introduction yes. I give on every single video. Mm -hmm. So I go along and say, because, you know, I've got my guy who has the stand and goes, you know, I am the hero mm -hmm. of cast. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. what I did was I just go back and watch my introduction the every first time. Yeah. And every time I, I update, I always pass the updates onto the next one. So mm. if I watch it every time, I kind of go, mm. okay, cool. This is where he's been. This is the mm. progression. Mm. And this is mm. why he's he's moving mm. forward. Mm. Because when you're playing with us, we play so many games. Mm. We're not like, you know, we don't have like one campaign that we keep going back to. We have maybe 20 characters, 30 characters. Mm. Potentially, yeah. Yeah, that just yeah. we keep rotating through. Yeah. So the and best way to remember. months or even oh. over a year before mm. you come back to a campaign and to remember mm. how you did that voice and the nuances <laughs> but, and, uh, but also how you botched that accent <laughs> yeah. uh, because when people the way that you did the accent yeah. Yeah. but when people watch it yeah. they watch it they watch back to back yeah. Yeah. so you can't you can't have a totally different character between two things you have to mm. kind of keep it consistent yeah. so it's a really good way for them mm. yeah it's better yeah. than a character sheet oh yeah 
So I watched myself GMing and uh, you pointed it out when you've been editing it, watching it. Just, just have a listen to this, Ben. <laughs> and I was... So there's kind of this, this kind it's of gold kind of this, and kind of stream yeah. kind of coming out on the floor and kind of spreading out. And it's kind of glowing and you're kind of like, whoa, I need to step away from that because it's kind of like, it's going to kind of, <laughs> kind of like burn you. And so you kind of, it's like, oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> so that was, that was kind of filler. annoying. Yeah. yeah really <laughs> genuinely annoying. <laughs> so, you know, that was my filler, whether it was arm or whatever. And even and if we we're not, have it. We yeah, all have that's it. right. Even yeah. if we're not recording, they're still going to take away from the immersion of the players. So you just have to learn just to pause if you don't know what the next word to say is and just keep moving from yeah. there and yeah it's really difficult and yeah and I'm, I'm grappling with the same sort of thing at the moment and, you know and, and I would have never have yeah. recognised it yeah. had I'm, the the yeah. sessions I've been recorded yeah, so. that's right yeah, so that's really fascinating so that's oh, affected you, us and the other thing self-conscious <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes. watching ourselves back also gives us a better way of being able to portray the character in the next game so when, if you watch mm. yourself and you go ooh like I really could I could actually be more enthusiastic or I could mm. do this or mm. There were moments when I held back, or there were moments mm. when I was too vocal and I wasn't letting mm. other people speak mm. up. So, or the comments will tell us that we were oh too yeah. vocal. Yeah. 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 Or yeah. voices so, in general. So cons, yeah. um, for me, I've, I realised that sometimes I, I get a bit stressed about the fact that we're recording and who's helping setting up and who's not and are we on schedule and did we remember this? And I, and I can watch it in myself. I can see, gosh, I'm actually sitting here being passive aggressive kind of thing you know in, in a Ben kind of way who's never nasty but like I'm sort of you know blah, blah. And, and, well. that's, and that's that's really that's really sad you know yeah. so that's, yeah. that's pressure yeah. is something you have to deal mm. with and think hang on we actually ultimately speaking we, we want to play and we want to be friends yeah. so if that has to go away in order because it's actually affecting us then that has to go away mm. so that's been really interesting mm. another con yeah. which well it's not really con but sometimes I play uh, with my son and sometimes we let, let's play slowly let's actually stop and if we say have to grapple, <laughs> let's let's for Find fun try and work out the grappling rules yeah. and actually read them through. And you never get the chance to do that in these in these games because that's going to be horribly boring. So bad at the rules. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, yeah, so that's totally. so that's a con. But you know, sometimes but so can. cool with the Twitch stuff is that having uh, an instant feedback <laughs> yeah. know, has meant that some of those things that we sometimes mm. miss are now starting to get filled yeah. which is really cool mm. yeah. but you know the Twitch has its cons as well you yeah. know it, so it's, a, a it's a live screen and it's, and it's distracting I find yeah. it's distracting from the immersion a little bit because we're always just sort of talking to the, to the yeah, fans I don't, I don't mind that so much mm. but um, you know, when we're playing by ourselves, we can stop and take a, a twenty-minute break and talk about other stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah. can't kind of do that when we're twitching mm. because you got this audience. We got five minutes, yeah, and, right. and we don't want to. You know, yeah. we don't want to. Yeah. You know, break for too long. Mm. So mm. you sleep and really well after time. Twitch. Yeah. You do yeah. 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 setup pressure. And... Yeah. Setup is setup is the biggest con for me. It's because yeah. the thing is, we went and from then... having Ugh. two cameras and two tripods. That was it. Yeah, no lights, and then we went no, sound. no lights, no sound, no nothing. <laughs> and then we went along and we added in sound. Mm. And we thought this would be cool, and then we added in lights. And these were like building lights. Yeah, yeah. we nearly, oh, yes. we nearly, we nearly <laughs> baking burnt. paper. And there were there was um there were points where like, do you guys smell smoke? Because <laughs> <laughs> we had cardboard, and then it. And, yeah. And so we had that, and it would also heat up the room. Yeah. So it would, you, you, we would sit there sweating yeah. our asses off whilst mm, playing the game mm, mm. and having the aircon blow, and it's only hitting one person, so they're really cold in the room. <laughs> so we had we now, and we've upgraded. So now we have just like you know, if we're doing a Twitch stream, we can do cameras and sound and mm. lights, and it's just. It well, just takes a little Twitch bit longer. Which is the next frontier, really, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So we're still moving into that. The, mm. But as far as like a basic multicam setup, we've, mm. we're getting a bit better. Oh, yeah. and the editing as well. Editing. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's ours. Tell us yeah. about that. Yeah. Yeah. Lots, lots of fun. editing. <laughs> yeah. So there's no cons about editing, John? No, no cons no, at all. Not that right. I spend time on the train editing oh, at God. seven in the morning. Oh, <laughs> oh. And processing down games. And processing and uploading, uploading. with Australian oh. upload speeds. Oh. It's great. Yeah. Eight hours, just so you know. But fun. Eight hours for every single session. One hour. Yeah. For one hour. One hour session. So for uh, every hour there is, there's eight hours that my house can't really yeah. do much it on the internet. Kills my internet. Yeah. 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 Yes. Wow, mine's twenty four hours. And that's and again, that's a, that's a pro <laughs> of Twitch. Hours one hour. Yeah. yeah. You know, it, it just yeah. goes straight up. Mm -hmm. You drop and some frames. You drop some frames. You yeah. Know, and and you can you can convert very easily from yeah. Twitch over to YouTube. Mm -hmm. So and you can see that. 
uh, with the Horde of the Dragon Queen that we've mm-hmm. which just went below. To straight away. Yeah. Just, yeah. yeah, that's fun now. Yeah. Fantastic. This is a fun yeah. one. At what point was the name Dice Storm is introduced? <laughs> and was deciding on oh, it. Easy. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah we got to pull that. We got to pull that up. We have a Facebook page, um, which yeah, we've had a since group, pretty a much group. since Facebook the, there group. were three group. of us. Yeah, yeah, Facebook group. We have a Facebook page too. Yeah. But um, yeah, a Facebook group, and we dug up a few of the old suggestions of the names. Before. Here we go. This is what it could have been. All right, guys. <laughs> it could have, we dice stormers. There was RPG blast. There was like that. yeah. dice tastic. Oh, that's really bad. Offline gamers. I really liked offline gamers. Yeah, but but aren't we online? Yeah, well, but no offline because we're playing games that are not computer right. Not computers. Computer. Right, 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 right. Okay, got yeah. it, got it. Um, there's it RP- requires explanation. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably, probably where yeah, probably not a great game. Yeah. RPG explosion. <laughs> <laughs> now this is my favorite. Role players unplugged, but you could also say role player sun plugged. <laughs> <laughs> and that was already taken, believe it yeah. or not. Right? Oh, yeah. Wow. Okay. And then underneath you're like. <laughs> Unplugged games is already taken. Sad face. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> oh, oh well. Yeah. So I don't. You know, we eventually just randomly decided. But, but what, what about mo- yeah, yeah, yeah. What about Monster Boys? Monster Boys. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that was your old group name, wasn't it? I guess so. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Which you didn't like the name. Like it. No, it's pretty bad. Pretty bad. It's name. with a Z. With a Z. <laughs> Woo, we were. <laughs> boom, boom. Yeah. But I mean that that's that's the other thing. If you know, you, you, Monster Boys means it's an all male group, which it yes. is anyway. Yeah. Um, but if there's ever a, a time when we want to bring in a female player, yes, that would be really awkward. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Or but, someone mature. Yeah, right. right. <laughs> as well, like monster, like men. You know? But yeah, yeah, we, yeah, we we basically geriatric. <laughs> yeah. When we which went, we when will we, be eventually one day. Hopefully. When we were like so creating the name, we went along and said, "Is the website available? Yeah. Is the YouTube available?" Which is why we're the Dice Stormers, mm. ERS on um, YouTube because somebody had taken Dice Storm and they just sat on there since mm. like 2011. Mm. Mm. Um, but so we went through and we tried to take as many stuff as possible so we can kind of like control that name. Mm. So that's pretty much mm. where we came to mm. with the. Uh... Mm. But yeah, we hope it's a good name. It's the name we're stuck with. Mm. <laughs> Does each of the cast? <laughs> Should oh, we yeah. call it the talent? Yeah. <laughs> Does each no, no, of the... no, we rehearse. <laughs> okay. Does okay. each of the cast have a particular role to fill? Is this something that just occurs naturally, or have you consciously tried to provide certain personalities? Oh my god! Holy, yes. these are real wow. questions that wow. are awesome. I'm the freeloader. Mm. <laughs> yeah. I, I think, no, he, I think he, he saves our soul. <laughs> I, I think what he's talking about is the is the um, inside the game. Yeah, inside the game. So what's the um, car car show in yeah, the UK? Yeah. You know how one of Top them's Gear. Top Gear. Oh, you know how Top one Gear. of them's English and quirky and not very good at things, and the others sort of arrogant and tall, and then there's yes. the short guy who won't. No, no, so they all. Well, I think we'll get think... sued if you say things. So, so, <laughs> like they, they they take roles and they obviously play those roles. Yeah, and they play them up. So yeah. well, we so can go off. We, that? Yeah, <laughs> we can go on camera and off camera. That'd be cool. Mm. Okay, so oh, I don't know. On camera, yeah, like. Usually, like, I'm trying well, to yeah. think about. Uh, go me and Murray, me and Murray both are strong. Usually, make strong characters in terms of like, you know, we do the more crazier characters. You're the energy of the group, I'd say. You yeah. And Murray. So mm. me and Little Murray usually battery. bring bring the kind Silliness. of like the. Silliness. If there's two of you there, it's always very silly. No yeah. Matter what? Yeah. Yeah, and then I, if I were to just quickly go around, I would say, John and Johnny. I disagree. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go. On. You guys design your characters around what the group composition is so you kind of like you work out what the composition of the group is and then you fit somebody in there that's really going to be awesome for the group Aww. so you kind of like you feel so true you're, you're fe- amazing you feel like the you know the you know how you make a really cool D&D group but you never have a cleric hmm. they wear the, the cleric there's a t-shirt <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> wear the cleric and we Derek one for the team the character <laughs> Derek the is the one that makes like the it makes the amazing kind of like character that has like crazy arcing story types and all that kind of stuff right it's yeah. just like you know you've got you've got some like really cool character that you've thought of and Ben is the person who just goes along and just gets he has an old character that he always brings back in or, or he creates it's very quirky like, or, or annoying or usually social yeah. and or, or you, female I love playing female or well. you, you, you go online and get a really a stupid powerful like... character dwarf who can fire yeah, yeah, like yeah. 
18 arrows and kill I love, everything. That's right. So I play... People, yeah, I love power gaming. People play for different reasons. And, and so yeah. uh, some people play because they want to just hit the problems and make them go away because they can never do oh, that yeah. in normal life. Johnny, Timmy, Spike. Um, that's right. So I, I play to be able to do the inappropriate thing and to explore people who are, are, are broken. So I, I play an alcoholic or, or a vain, naive teenage girl or, or a, you know, sort of... Some, some sort of Tobias. thing. Yes, Tobias, who's was brought up to be racist and intolerant and sort of annoying in, in a kind of way, but kind of... And then the challenge becomes, which John's taught me, like, then you're going to have to find some reason that the other players' characters actually care and some reason to connect. Mm. And a couple of times I've made a character that actually it just doesn't work as a group player. But usually, I, I think now I'm a bit yeah. better at finding some reason to integrate. You know? And even within the game, we sort of problem solve. And, yeah, that's right. And it oh, sort of shifts that's into that's right. it. Yeah. Yeah. Why, why are we actually together? Like, mm -hmm. cause, yeah. So, and that's half the fun of it, is, yeah. is that you're creating a story. And if all the characters are really straightforward and they work, mm. then it's not interesting. Mm, mm, <laughs> so mm. It's fun to have, you know, a bit of a... And you have that challenge in groups, like, so, so someone will make a character that, that's, uh, yeah, like, si too silly or whatever for your taste, so, um, you know, so you, uh, you know, you try and, you try and carry on. <laughs> Do you want me to just, I'll leave if you... <laughs> no, it's just one character. It's just one character. <laughs> Particular little pony. Oh. Pewdie the Pony. It's a terrible name for a pony. No. <laughs> it's a terrible name. They're bringing and out... And it died because of it. There's a pony <laughs> supplementary... For Pathfinder, you we will be back. You link, killed link it. Linked below. Link in, yeah. link no, no, below. no. <laughs> <laughs> that video doesn't need any more hits. It's, it's, okay, yeah. right. Did you have a particular audience in mind when first creating the Dice Normers? Yes. Nerds! No, no wait, no. <laughs> Acquis Acquisitions Incorporated. Everybody on there was like, we want more videos like this, and they were only able to produce them one a year. And I was like, we could totally produce videos that would be okay. And that's what my thought was. <laughs> that's like, cool. And yeah, then... I, 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 would, I would expand on that and I would like to, to think that our videos reach new players you yeah, know, pe people, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. we do this to share our love of mm -hmm. the, the hobby and we'd love to you know, inspire yeah. other people yeah. to go and play games and, yeah. mm -hmm. and find other people to play with and, and, great, and there to are... be creative in, in yeah. gaming I yeah. think yeah. So, so it's to encourage people to not necessarily get so hooked on the rules that yeah. the story gets left behind That's and right. that you're able yeah. to yeah push yourself forward. We see ourselves as a corrective service for those who are having <laughs> the wrong kind of fun. <laughs> oh, wow. wow. Okay. We're, we're kind of fun in enforcement. And there's the title of the article. the title of the article. Are you having the wrong kind of fun? <laughs> <laughs> the Dice Stormers will correct it. <laughs> we are the fun police. I say that. I, could, you, could you make the type set look ironic when you, when you type that out? <laughs> yes, comic set. That's right. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Fantastic. Uh, in the time the Dice Storms have been running, have you learnt of people watching it whom you didn't expect it to appeal to? <gasps> can I say Can I say a thing? Yeah. So I was very down on this art form. Uh, initially, I used to say all these jokes about, oh gosh, all these people watching is like, you know, do they not have a life? Blah, 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 blah. Which is, and I just realised that what we're doing is kind of like reading, a, a, it's kind of like a story. It's yeah. like reading a book because it has a narrative and characters and all yeah. that thing. But it's better than that. It's like a, it's like a spoken book yeah. because you actually just get to listen to it with expression interpreted by people. But then it's actually like a radio play because each of the actual voices of the characters is actually voiced separately. Really um, good accents. Really yeah. good accents. <laughs> but it's also kind of like a, a reality show because you're seeing people... Uh, struggling with role playing, having to be creative, having to cope with the turns of the tide. It's like mm -hmm. it's like so. It's like a theatre sports type thing. So it's actually kind of a multi layered art and we, form. They also get to judge how good we've. Um, That's right. Run the rules. Yeah, so it's like Australia's Got Talent. Yeah, right? yeah okay, cool. <laughs> and with Twitch, it's like an interactive yeah. thing. So I heard someone say, I think it was Stephen Fraser said, the best sort of television is when you feel like you've um, sat down and spent an evening with a great bunch of friends. Mm -hmm. And Twitch obviously just brings it, whoa, even really close. And we, yeah. and we feel really connected. And like, honestly, we love the comments and interaction oh. on our YouTube videos. The amount of, when we, when so we get a cool. comment, it's on all our phones. Yeah, yeah. And we all pull yes. out our phones and go like, oh. And even the terrible, terrible, terrible comments that some people are quite abusive. No, but the thing is, we get, to be honest, we, we have the most, know. one of the most awesome communities. Yeah. yeah. They are just like, and the, and <coughs> when people start calling out your you by name, mm. like, Oh, I'm so glad that Nathan here or Ben's here or Derek's coming oh, where's along. Murray? Where's, where's Murray? Where's Murray? Like, Murray? Like stuff like that where's is just. Mm -hmm. It goes like, wow, we actually these people who follow us, they know us by name and they mm. enjoy our characters or mm. how we play, mm. 
and it's just it's so exciting. Like, I don't know about you, and, but like, and we're running kind of at somewhere between ten and twenty people watching us at every single minute of the day at the moment. Yeah, which kind of blows my mind. Mm. Yeah, mm. i.e., there's tw- you know between ten and twenty days of footage watched every day. Yeah. So you know if you spread that out evenly, yeah, which is that that's pretty bizarrely amazing. And as I said, I used to laugh at the fact that you did, it was ridiculous. And, but, yeah. but now you're just like it's cool. And but now yeah. it's become bigger and bigger. Like you've yeah. got other massive channels in America mm. yeah. going and doing it so you yeah. know a lot of people are on that now mm-hmm. good are these people a large or small part of the audience I guess we've we've, we've covered that it's actually the people you guys are essential to what we're doing uh, otherwise yeah. we wouldn't be doing it we'd just be playing at a table ourselves and the, the, the thing is we just get some of the most amazing stories like you know there's mm. a guy a marine oh. who was in um, oh. Afghanistan oh and gosh. he couldn't game so he watched us and he felt like he was gaming mm-hmm. we had people in like just some of the stories and if you guys mm. have stories mm. We love them, like love, love, love them, and we sit around mm. and talk about them for hours. Yeah, mm. people, people who travel for work and are yeah. away from mm. home a long time. And yeah. I ran into a producer for the for a television show, and he used to watch it because he used to fly around everywhere. Mm-hmm. And so, hello guys, hello, if, if, hello if you're watching. And you're sitting, you're sitting there. That's just why yeah. we all sit around on and, this side of the table because you're sitting there. Yeah. And yeah. the whole thing the was, we table. we all sat around one side of the table. We didn't at the beginning. No, we'll talk about that later. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, there's a reason why we do that. <laughs> <laughs> how do you decide what games to play do you uh, assess how they will suit a visual format before featuring them on the show <laughs> yeah. uh, I reckon there's games that, yeah. that we, we filter because they're technically difficult mm. and uh, you won't translate as well to film in the sense that if we're diving into the book every five seconds then it's not a system we're familiar with mm. like, we no. would probably put that as a lesser priority mostly because we don't think we can convincingly pull it off mm. without butchering it mm. so we'll definitely feel to that way and we've got games we love and we basically yeah. advocate maybe for one game you know at a certain time someone gets in the mood yeah, right. or there's a kickstarter yeah. that's right yeah. yeah yeah and we know each of us has strengths sort of game running wise we should go yeah. through them what are, what, are, what are everyone's strengths well John's amazing at Cthulhu oh everything, my everything really uh, yeah. but then <laughs> there are other people who also run a Cthulhu because they then then you know are inspired yeah. and, and that works really well yeah. Nathan's fantastic at, at crazy madcap sort of games like um paranoia yeah <laughs> which is kind of like he's not really good at the no, <laughs> no, no, no and no, Derek no. is a freaking beast at D D. well I've I've just had a conversation with Murray and Murray wants to run D D, which mm. I'm so excited yeah. about yeah. so that would be I wonder if you'll involve miniatures yes I'm quite passionate about Pathfinder because <laughs> yeah. I right. loved 3.5 and when 4th edition came out I, I, I couldn't find a way to get excited Ben and I it. are opposite sides yeah, of the mm. same cool. coin mm. that's right yeah it's really very much yeah <laughs> and uh, and you know beautiful arguments. We make we make jokes about it. We 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 love all role playing games. Yeah, we do. Yeah. And Except for Pathfinder. Part. That's right. <laughs> 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 That's right. <laughs> uh, um, yeah. So we kind of just see what is in the mood and what people are sick of and what people are looking forward to and yeah, whoever's we... whoever's prepared to run something or have mm. an inspiration. And we actually yeah. intentionally try not to play the same mm. genre back to back. What back to back? back. Yeah. So occasionally we do, but. Usually, if we've played fantasy, whether it's Pathfinder or D and D or something else, we'll, we'll then move to something else like yeah. sci-fi, or which, which sometimes horror. doesn't translate onto film because we, we, might, yeah. we <laughs> might lose one or two games just due to technical issues or yeah. stuff. So, so sometimes we will have D and D and Pathfinder back to back on video, but mm. yeah, we might have played two or three games yeah. in that time. Mm. Mm. Uh, so, are there particular types of role playing games you would avoid having on the show? No, well, yeah, we would. We won't role play rape or or uh, no. sort of child murder. There no, are some, I, I think, not by the player characters. Isn't he like, going a bit sort of more basic than that? Sort of, like, then we talked about it already. Then, so it's yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Uh, what? Yeah, other games we would avoid. So yeah, yeah. There's some. Was, there's some real kind of like dark, kind of like really, really dark games that we mm, don't really yeah. get into too much. Um, and the other thing is, we also don't play incredibly like taxing games where it's all talking and like you know. Like, for example, we don't do the role-playing games where it's just like everybody has ridiculous amounts of rules and mm. dice mm. and complicated, really, really mm. complicated systems. Unless we think we can pull it off. Yeah. And, yeah. You know what yeah. we're doing. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's cool. Excellent. What have been your favourite titles or systems to feature on the show? We kind of just talked about that. Our favourite and you guys' favourites. <laughs> so, our favourite games are Pathfinder, Dungeons & Dragons, Cthulhu. 
Yeah. Uh, Star Wars, we've kind of focused in the end on Star Wars D6, because yeah. we love the, the slickness and speed of the system. But we are... Yeah, but, we, but we're kind uh, of... Yeah. Like, I like Fantasy yeah. Flight, too, though. Yeah. 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 I like it for different reasons. But yeah, because um, we moved we're, between them, I think. Yeah, we I like I like the variety for, for some reason. Yeah, yeah. but when, when Age of Rebellion comes out, not Age of Rebellion, Force of Destiny. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. but the thing is, when we guys uh, like, when we ask you guys, it's very clear that you know it, it goes in a very particular order. It goes Call of Cthulhu by a mile, <laughs> yeah. and then it goes like. Uh, you can play what you want after that. But like a consistently oh, give us Call of Cthulhu. I see it's how we go. No, but that's <laughs> but when you look online, that's the kind and of. And interestingly like, enough, most of the negative comments and a lot of the really passionate positive comments are on, on Call, Call of Cthulhu. Cthulhu. Yeah. So you know, we we get it the most wrong according to some people, and, and the most and the right, most which right. is kind of true. Like we we can't catch uh, what a regular table yeah. group no. could do because we've got blindingly bright lights yeah. in our face. We've, we want to be able to keep it moving yeah. because we, we should put an awkward, just three hours. Yeah. We should put an awkward candle in the middle at one time. <laughs> That'd be great. An awkward It'll create candle. mood. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we'll do lots of cut shots where it changes in its Oh, yeah. Scent, a scented candle. Yeah. Just yeah. Yeah, beautiful. beautiful. So, so it's quite hard to do a really atmospheric yeah. game of Call of Cthulhu. And I think also because we're a bit older, because um, I used to play a lot of Call of Cthulhu, very mm. atmospheric, kind mm. of like around the fireplace and all that kind of stuff. And I think nowadays I'm looking for more, slightly more upbeat. Um, but also, yeah. I don't know, it's something that's more of a story rather than a, a horror. Yeah, yeah, we're more pulp action, like pulp fiction, yeah. you know, where they're like, they're like Indiana Jones-esque. We go in there and there's the, there's like the cultists and everything like that, but we're more, we do yeah. it more as if like we're the heroes rather than we're the victims running away. Mm. Yeah, and Cthulhu is really about how fast you can run away yeah. from something. Yeah, so. yeah. yeah. So, so that's one game that we've had to well, modify can... for the video-friendly format oh, to make it video-friendly. What, oh, what other nice changes man. have we made to games? Nice segue. We've certainly, simplifying we've certainly rules. Simplifying rules and yeah. just yeah. Rule, employing rule zero, which is whatever, just go with it. Um, you can watch videos where we literally talk about how to cope with uh, characters' ideas and all that sort of thing. Yeah. Yeah. That was a little bit of a learning experience for me when I started you know, playing D&D. Oh, the, yeah. the, whole sort of, <laughs> the whole sort of, you know, I, I like the rules. I like, mm-hmm. I like crunchy stuff, but... In order to keep the flow of the game going, you, you just got to kind of turf yeah. some of that um, at mm. some point and just kind of uh, go with and say, you know, say yes more often. Mm. And mm. Then I don't think that's a good idea. Or whatever. But there's a lot of trust to do that. Mm. Like, we can't just have, um, if we say yes to every, like, we only ask stuff that is plausible. Like, the players mm. don't go along and say, oh, I'd love to find, you know, the massive pile of gold. And yeah. you'd be like, Yes, like, you know... Well, we want to have interesting encounters. Yeah. I think yeah. that's the... That at the end of the day, it's all about how can we make this as interesting as possible mm. yeah. for us as players and for the people watching. Yeah, It's not well. an individual so it's, individual yeah. thing. It's a it's Yeah, a so we're thing. looking for how do we enhance the story and how can I make my character enhance the story in this moment mm. and, and do something really cool that I would love doing. Yeah. And that's like... that's And that's what the camera does. It makes us do better than what we would like we we really think and we're really like oh what can we do what will make this exciting and you know i'll throw the grenade it's like normally you wouldn't because it's not safe but it's like i do it and we trust you that you're not going to screw us over yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, there is there is a bit of collaboration between the dms and the players Mm. um and and you know i i find like if we're playing a module or something sometimes you'll you'll just sort of excise you know big bits of it um you'll just not worry about this half of the dungeon mm-hmm. because to do a big dungeon crawl in, in, in this sort of format doesn't kind of work. So if you watch uh, Haunting of Harrowstone, you'll see me stick reasonably firmly to the module and kind of ruining our fun a little bit. And then as, as the different sessions go on, you'll see me just become looser and looser. Yeah, and looser. yeah that's it's true, a yeah. beautiful yeah. example of the yeah. process of us learning mm-hmm. you know, how, to, how, how to, to do a module. Yeah. And a module makes it harder because you really have to sit there and kind of read chunks of text and otherwise you're calling the wrong person the wrong name and you can't just go with it because it's in the module. And, and I found that really hard in Burnt Offerings, uh, which is a beautiful and highly detailed story. <laughs> And I was doing a particular game to highlight the Sirenscape content we built for Burnt Offerings. And I found it really difficult and that actually made it kind of stressful for me. And, and same thing, I eventually just loosened up and sort of went with it. But these modules, you can read three times all the way through and then sit down on camera and like, I don't know what the thing is, yeah, yeah. father's name yeah. is. And, oh. and yeah. moments there where you just like went, oh no, I just yeah, put this right. encounter before I should have put this encounter. And can you and, pick up this? Yeah, yeah. And, and, and then yeah. there's always the, um, you know, no plan survives contact with the players. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's the yeah. other thing. That's right, absolutely. Yeah. 
So yeah, I've I've just learned to over the years just to loosen up. And most of our games are not mm. from modules; they're from no, our own right. imaginations, yeah. which is often easy. But everybody wants them as modules, which is mm. funny. It's like, mm. where can I get this module from? It's like mm. <laughs> I yeah, literally yeah. had an hour beforehand. <laughs> <laughs> One of our dreams, one of my dreams, certainly is that that some, really some writer modules. will will say, you know, can, can you license me to write up your game as as a module, and then we get into, you know, we actually share all our backstory and everything the under the big top I, is the session that i would love to see as a module because i think it would really function really well mm. as a module mm. it's it was a fact the way i set up the game was really fascinating the fact that which i talk about in one of our videos which we'll link to below um <laughs> who's links, doing these yeah, links right, yes, <laughs> it's you. hashtag um, so yeah and, and that'd be so if there is a, a you know a writer out there who who might have the time to you know and you know to, because there's one little moment in that in that that you needed to fix, don't you? Mm. About the bunch yeah. of clowns um, moment. Right. <laughs> yes. Yeah, where you broke you broke everything. Yeah. It's just you, like, this horror clown awesome. kind of and then he goes, "Oh, they're just a bunch of clowns," and suddenly they went from do completely couldn't bring yeah. it back. Yeah, that yeah. bunch of clowns. And I've run that module three times with different groups, mm. uh, only one on camera, and uh, it's really interesting uh, the development. So yeah. That's one of our dreams. I don't know how, how that related to anything in the question. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> how much of a typical session ends up in the published video? All, All of it. Most, yep. yeah. I think yeah. there's been a couple All of times it. where we've gone, can we cut here? Yeah. Um, but that's my Yeah, where, where Ben problems. goes like this, goes, ha ha! <laughs> the orange, yes, juice orange juice falls on the computer and just destroys <laughs> it. Yep. Yeah. We like te that. technical stuff. Yeah, yeah technical yeah, stuff yeah. is, is like, the yeah. only thing that well, you yep. see is what you get otherwise. Yeah. When yeah. the when the light was burning and we're like, <laughs> there's smoke. No, seriously, I smell smoke. How do I communicate this to everyone else so that they know? <laughs> and then everybody's looking at each other going, <laughs> yeah. can everyone get back in the position we were before we paused? <laughs> yep. And there was a comment the other day, why does it sound like there's a little girl bashing on the glass and calling out? There was, there was, there was, there was, there was yeah. but not in a kind of weird in prison way. But no, it's really <laughs> legitimately a child. You know, yeah. It was probably Murray's. Our yeah, last yeah. three questions: uh, What are some of the mistakes you made when you were starting out, and how have resolving these issues improved the show? <laughs> oh dear. Let's each come up with a. I, okay, I, Ben, I think you. Okay, should... so we first started with our two cameras pointing directly at each other, in, so you could see the other camera. That's right. So that breaks the uh, uh, the thing we learned about because someone pointed it out in the comments. The 180 degree rule, which is weird when uh, you should all, always film both characters from the same side because if you jump over the other side, it's like they're facing both the same way back to back. Uh, sorry, yeah, like this, both having a conversation that way. That's the impression it creates for the and, audience. And, and as a viewer, when you, when you see that, you feel like something's wrong, but you don't yeah. know what it is. Yeah, yeah. And, and that's very disorientating. Mm, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 So that's one mistake. It's a good one. Um, I think the biggest one we the biggest mistake we had was we were facing each other. So we were treating yeah. it like a normal role playing group where yeah. the first few we were all sitting around a table and we were trying mm. to shoot in between yeah. people Pains to be able to do it. Right. Which is we totally changed our style and we started going on one side of the table and an like either this. end. Yeah. So like this. And but not with this weird kind of angle. Yeah. yeah. This is even this is, freaking this me is out putting me out, bit. but I'm yeah. Not, I'm not coping. This is a bit but like, arty, you know? We um yeah. we, different. And the other thing we thought about was that if we leave a side of the table open for the viewer. Mm. So mm. the viewer could see the miniatures and the viewer could see everybody and how we actually interacted with each mm. other. Mm. So everybody on the Y cam is so everybody can be seen in the wide cam. Mm -hmm. So if we're talking to the group, you can see everyone's expressions and you're and you're a part of the game. Mm -hmm. And that's a really important part of what we were trying to mm -hmm. portray across. Yeah. What about green screen failures? Oh, no. There's no... Green, there's a movie. green dice on the table <laughs> when you're using green screen, not a good idea. Yeah. Oh, also... Oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, yeah. I have green dice. What do you do? Hours of editing. <laughs> no, the, the other the other really good one is um, Un we uneven have, green screen. Yeah, if you yeah. if you have a green see, screen, see the shadows. See, can you see the shadows behind them? If that were a green screen, oh, we've we've got we've got a, a, a ridiculously good game mm. that has that we really never see the light. No, screen. that is that really really bad light lighting, but it looks absolutely amazing. <laughs> and that's it is my golden life to get that game out. And if there Sadly, are people in the comments deleted, who want it, yeah, they're probably being deleted. It, yeah. probably you just you you probably just, not on that hard right? yeah, yeah, You just tell me in the comments that you want the Cosmic Cthulhu game with the really bad cosmic green Cthulhu? screen. Oh yeah, no the, Cosmic the, Patrol, yeah, yeah. Cosmic Patrol with the really really good green screen. You tell me. Come on, 
Start a petition in the comments. <laughs> and to change the subject, <laughs> <laughs> one of the other things that we've learned is not to eat food at the table. Yes, oh, not to eat food. Yeah. Do you remember when we had oh. the we individually had the... wrapped chocolate? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. The rustling sound of opening <laughs> each piece. Oh, good times. But if you see us, we often do sneak food. <laughs> where we're just like, yeah, we yeah. being you and Murray. <laughs> we just go this. <laughs> we go this and we're, or we pour the drinks oh. onto the table. <laughs> you usually see me giving a significant glance and I think what are you doing <laughs> uh, we recorded a game uh, you did at Icon at a really resonant room oh yes. yeah oh that was my audio has been a long journey it's mm. really that was really, my really hard game. we're still yeah. we're still building that I think yeah. Yeah. we've got a long way to go it's yeah. um, really well, actually quite complicated audio it is part of the video mm. and the thing is trying to try, like we like it's kind of one of those things where it's just like you know we've got to get gear but we're at the moment we're not really kind of there's no, any, money there's no money involved, so it's kind of like you know we like it'd be cool to get big, better gear, but we're we're just spending money on cameras and all that kind of stuff. Like we've we've upgraded our gear a lot. Like that's that's cameras something that we lights. have done. So we have spent and we've got some Panasonic GH3s, mm. and we use the Zoom H6 for the sound, and we've got um we've got some kind of like we've got some LED not LED the um just lights. studio lights yeah, yeah. Studio lights. the and links so, to all these products are in the um, yes, yes, below yeah. Yeah. yeah good luck Ben <laughs> um but like <laughs> we, and we have, have five different places that you can find them at <laughs> and yeah so best prices it's yeah. when Nathan says that it's going to appear on the screen here yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah we stopped that one pretty quick right. but yeah so like we're, we're still on that on that on that on that like yeah. excursion of trying to get the right gear but like I think sound is the big next one mm. we get told that all the time and makeup oh. yeah lots of makeup to <laughs> yeah. yeah we've got to try our best to make it. ourselves look beautiful mm. can That's we each share a highlight moment of, of uh, being in the Dice Stormers or creating a Dice Stormer video or something has happened can anyone okay. think of something um, have you got one for me oh yeah but you go first, yeah. Derek. For me, it was PAX last year with Chris Avalone. Oh, yeah. That packed, was so Packed out audience. Packed out audience, live role-playing, taking suggestions from both the audience and the Twitter stream. Yeah, yeah. You I mean, it was Ledge just blowed me away. And, it was crazy. Um, and, and Twitch is kind of feeding that again mm -hmm. for me. So that's, yeah, that's why I want to do more Twitch. Mm. Um, a moment, uh, just to quickly, just to one that totally jumped out at me is um we always keep our character sheets um so it doesn't matter what character we have we always kind of try and keep our character sheets so if we ever go back we can view them um this this is well most of us do there's um there's so basically in my first game ever which is really important for me um i created my first character and everybody still has their characters and we always go back mm. to it and we can kind of like we always run into it and do a few games mm. it now keep and then. talking yeah. um yeah. Except for Dirk. Um, mm. Dirk was John's character and he rubbed off the character sheet, yeah. his character. He just got a, an eraser out and rubbed out the sheet. When he died. Yeah. He died, but d d you never really die. <laughs> like, mm. we, we actually got him to a point where we could bring back Dirk. We've got his body mm. and... A, and a, a, an angel thing yeah. appeared and said, thank you for essentially saving the world, which they'd done. And yeah. you know, I'm quite happy to raise you know, your fallen hero who's but, fought valiantly. I don't really remember that bit. So. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's maybe a bit of creative license. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. so um, that was a moment where... That was pretty epic. That, that, was, was, a, that was a PC death in the final battle. Yeah. Um, to a gargoyle mm. who just like destroyed him with one... But you can't see this on video because it was really... No, before... that was on video. Have we done that? Yeah, video? that was the only yeah, one sure that, that was on video. Was... No, no, I think that was an earlier bit. Really? I think it was on video. No. Oh. Oh, that's yeah, sad. that big monster with the fire and yeah, like that's yeah, on video. Yeah. Yes, the Remoraz. Remoraz. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Oh, anyway, but yeah, that was that All was right. crazy. Mm -hmm. Anyway, any other moments? Oh, there's so many. How do you pick? Oh, oh, what about the, the summoning the scorpion from the book in Horny of Harrowstone? I'll share that as mine. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> that's yours, Johnny, because I got my own. Yes, the, P the PCs, Horny of Harrowstone, I'll link to the video that's relevant mm. below, um, <laughs> had gone down a hole. You'd found some old uh, evil person spell book. Yeah. And we just decided that you could te tear out a page and read the spell, but it might sort of kick back in your face. Mm -hmm. and, and then we rolled. We, we randomized. Yeah, we kind of randomized whether it was going to be. So he, we, we had. Hi, everyone had fallen down the hole, really undignified. We're all injured and disorganized, and this uh, these like exploding fire firing skeletons were attacking. 
and everyone was in trouble. So he's got this page of this spell book, Johnny's character, and it's this a is my summon second creature. Second game ever, I think. Quite a powerful, Sum- yeah, quite a summon powerful creature. Summon creature. Three. <laughs> so I say, excellent. You can summon the creature. There's fifty fifty percent chance it'll attack um, you? the party. Right. Um, <laughs> and it was a he really... reads the spell. It's almost looking like a TPK already. Boom! Failure of that check. It's going to attack the party. Ugh. It mows its way through the, the monsters on the way to killing the party. It's about to stuck the party, and he's sitting there, and he's got the spell book, and he's he's uh, it's a dispel magic, hmm. so he can dispel the summon. I say, there's a fifty fifty chance you will double the spell <laughs> rather than dispelling the spell, and that one roll yeah. is just that is awesome gaming moment you're always looking for, and it's like I read the spell, this is it. Like if if the if there's two of these things, these guys are all dead, and that's the end of the story. And putting a Harrowstone. And he rolled and it succeeded and you know, the, the, the monster was dispelled and that was... Saved the day. Saved the day. So that's uh, so that pretty epic high stakes. And the dice, I, I also used to be down on the dice, you know. It's just like kind of, it's like a lowly part of storytelling because it's this randomized element. But I've learned over the years that the dice have an essential narrative role. You know, they, sure. they keep that realism and that indeterminate sort of nature of reality. And the fact you can't just make some arbitrary decision about whether you succeed at a task because I don't know, you do. Um, and, and so they actually can twist the story and turn the story at any given moment. You never know when your whip's going to get stuck in a pole. Instead of looking awesome, you'll suck. Every time. Every time. <laughs> every time you the do know, and it's every time. That's right. But I mean, there's there's the other moment where... 50% of the time, it gets stuck every time. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, there's the other moments where you shoot at a dragon and you hit yeah. it in its eye and it's a critical hit yes! and it flies off. Yeah, yeah when, you, you know? when you do D3 D- <laughs> D- damage minus two. <laughs> <laughs> so you, and you, you saved the day and I killed yeah. the dragon mm. dragon slayer <laughs> yeah. leaping off the back of the flying owls onto the back of the red dragon mm. and then scoring a critical hit on its wing and crashing it to the ground with you guys riding on the back of it this is before we recorded with that initial group that, mm. in Get, Brindle yeah, yeah. getting like, back with monster boys yeah so. and then Typhina yeah. being beheaded that was in one the of my final battles yeah. yeah it was incredible one That's, of the under the gods early ones when Jatai was eaten by a dragon and then cut his way out of the stomach that was I'll, I'll link to that that was a skeletal that dragon a so he's cool. inside the skeleton oh, yeah, yeah. Nice. that's an amazing game that, that was, boom where I made oh you almost gosh, breathe I in your drink die that's right <laughs> yeah. I set off the sirenscape explosion yeah when the um, tower collapsed yeah yeah that was cool oh, that was a that very was, cool game yeah there's, there, to oh, be honest Murray's there, character sacrificed himself in that Cthulhu oh, game yeah so oh, and Murray, Murray would bring up all the points of Maelstrom. Yes, oh, yeah. Maelstrom's just all full of amazing highlights. times. That's right, not being able to cast spells. Oh, the Gratitude. Oh. Oh. <laughs> not, not being able to hit monsters with any weapons. Oh, no, when the armor reduction damage is yeah. larger than your, your, the weapon can actually output and damage. And there's the way you can't cast any spells, which Ever. is really amazing. Yeah, yeah. 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 Can I say also, unpacks that time we all rolled oh, 20s. 20s. Natural 20s, four of us. Four natural 20s in front of a live audience. Yeah. Yeah. Statistically, I don't know what that looks yeah. like. Yeah. It's a really amazing bond. moment. And that was on the final yeah. roll, so it wasn't just some random roll in the middle. Yeah. And it was a saving throw. I was saying it was going to die and explode and do all sort of, you know, 66 extra damage fantasy. I can take them all out. They all roll natural 20 on the saving throw. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So the dragon implodes. With flashing. <laughs> flashing. flashing. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. It's actually, can, you can see it you in the video. Yeah. 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 And just the sort of realisation one by one. <laughs> Yeah. We can link to that what? video yeah. which we've just submitted. Oh, Sam, oh, you've got oh. so much work. I love it. I and love one it. final question. Thank you for these fantastic and insightful questions. Oh, yeah. Matthew, you, um, li- go to the, the Campaigner magazine. It'll be linked below. Make sure... You, Another link. What, There's a second link to no, that. No, but mm-hmm. yeah. make sure you tell us what you think of the article. Like, come back into the comments yeah. and say, hey, I actually went there because we'd love to see yeah. if you guys like We won't that. release this video until... The, the yeah, it will be out. after it's out. Yeah. yeah. Fantastic. And just one more thing... We won't talk about some of the other more exciting plans we're going to talk about soon, but yeah, what are some of the basic plans for Dice Dormers for the future? Should we talk about things? Yeah, or? I think yeah. we yeah. only, only some things. Only some things. We're, we're, we're looking things we can't at, talk about. We're looking at, at, at ways of, yeah, helping us to make this show better, basically, by being yeah. able to actually fix the setup, even sort of ideally maybe have a fixed setup somewhere, mm. so we're not doing literally two hours of build and setup before we start each game. Because that mm. does create stress and yeah. takes away from tabletop playing. So yeah. we're looking at some way of... Because um, we would get literally twice the amount of gaming in, yeah. 
if we didn't have to pack up and sit down. Yeah. And we'd be able to do it more often because we wouldn't have to go to yeah. a house and disturb everything. So, uh, yeah, we, we kind of get the impression from some of your supportive comments that there may be some way you guys might be able to contribute to that. So we're looking at ways of doing that in the future. And that's, that's kind of really weird as well because we've got a totally amateur group who was just doing something with, with sort of it's a bits of found equipment of things. Yeah. And kind of on the edge of like how... How actually amazing could we make this? You know, with a really quickly growing audience and a yeah. and a genre which is growing really really quickly. And it's it's know, not yeah. just us; like it's an yeah. actual like there, yeah. there are groups going up. And oh, yeah. Some people have just been the most loyal people. Like mm. you go along and look at some of the people, and they've watched everything. Mm. Yeah. Like we're on the stream, and they're making jokes about yeah. games we yeah. made three years ago, yeah. and I'm like, hang on, and I'm like, holy crap. Mm. This dude has watched, remembered, yeah, and so cool. is quoting a quote I said <laughs> in a game remember. three <laughs> years ago. And I'm just like, wow. Yeah, and so we, we get blown away by the audience. Yeah. It's just, mm. it's so amazing. Mm. But yes, um, other stuff we're doing. We're going to, I mean, the other thing we'd love to do is we've got, we've got PAX, Oz, yeah, we've got PAX yep. RPG Plus, which we're going to do at PAX sort of indefinitely, but yeah. I'd... I go to conferences overseas with Sirenscape, but uh, if we could, you know, get some funding, getting some sort of funding model that works, we could take Dice Stormers. I'd, I would love, it would be my dream to have a couple of Dice Stormers with me at Gen Con oh. and have them be a part of Live RPG Plus at Gen Con. How cool would take my buddies to a show. How cool would that be? But how cool would it be to be there and just meet yeah. all... Because the thing is, we get yeah. so many people from America, especially like California kind yeah. of area. It'd be so cool to go and meet them and say mm. hello because we're... For as much as like yeah. when we meet people and they know who we are, we're more excited than they are yeah, because like much. you've watched it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We look at the yeah. camera and you're on the other side and we don't get to see you and it's just like it's great you to share meet people. you share some of the best days, like it's some of the best stuff we do mm. together as mm. a group of friends and we include you as much as anything mm. and. Yeah, I just would love to meet everybody who mm. has ever watched a beer yeah. or is somebody who passionately watches. I, w I would love to meet, have a beer and just, yeah. you know, have a sit down a yeah. conversation and be yeah. sick. So it's that, another reason why those packs things oh, are so much fun to, so to get to meet some of our, our, our viewers are great. And the yeah. games are always freaking off Lens. the chain. <laughs> the stress, yeah. I mean, Mental. the pressure you're under, yeah. I'm under as a GM you know, <laughs> yeah. is just intense. See, I'm, I'm just Huge. like, the, I'm only, the only pressure I'm under is the restrictions the audience puts on me. <laughs> <laughs> Pacifism, best moment ever. Yeah. Oh, so I was a paladin good. who was power game to be super <laughs> strong and they gave me, I am a pacifist. So, <laughs> it's quirk. so good. Oh. So yeah, stay tuned for some ideas and, and maybe And if you've got discussion. ideas, like yeah. we, we want to, yeah. it's, it's not an insular thing. Like, yeah. You guys, yeah, we want you guys are a part of this as much as we are, and if you've got mm. ideas, like fire them away. Like we can't promise we'll do everything, but we promise we'll read it and take it and take it and think about it. Yeah, fantastic! That was really great. That was yeah. good fun. Yes, thank you, Matt. Thank you, Matt. Yeah, thank and you, Matt, for spurring us on. For everybody, this. make sure write your questions down the bottom. Yeah, we're gonna go on there and answer them. Like you know, we may not answer every comment, but we definitely read them. Oh yeah. Um. So yeah. Like, and we'll talk privately about them and, you know, complain or really be That's excited, right. you know, but like just comment and yeah, we'll, tr and if you ask us a question, we will definitely try and give you an answer. Awesome. Thank you. See you later. See ya. Thanks Bye. guys. Bye. 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 Well, that took a lot of rehearsal, but I think it was worth it. Mm. Yeah. 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 Good job, everyone. Should we just do it one more time? Hang on. Yeah. All right. Do another take. Another take. Right, cool. Yeah. <clears throat>